Temporary closures reduce staff at local restaurants. That's having a huge impact on the local service industry. Many people like bartenders, waiters, line cooks, and hosts forced to file for unemployment, unsure of when they'll be able to get back to work. Practicing social distancing here as we have been for a while, WATE 6 on your side reporter Madison Keevy joins us live from her home. Hey, Madison, you know, today is a significant milestone, so to speak, for industry workers, right? because for many car payments, rent, and other major bills are due. It's the first of the month. And for many of the industry workers that I've talked to today, it's the first time those major expenses might not get paid. And now they say all they can do is wait. It's just like a whole like mess of confusion and like just not knowing what to do. Caught all of us off guard. Like we weren't really expecting. My day-to-day, my, -day, my life just turned upside down. These are just three members of the tight-knit service industry here in Knoxville, who, as of the last two weeks, don't have jobs. You think that job's going to stay? Just because the service industry has been around for forever, like you have to eat food, but you didn't think that your restaurant would close. Cassandra Peterson was a waitress at Downtown Grill and Brewery laid off in the midst of COVID-19 after dining rooms across the city closed to the public. Now, like others, she's facing tough financial decisions. Here I am, I've decided to sell some things and make sure that I have my rent paid because of all things that can't go wrong is I can't lose my house. <laughs> others are putting plans on hold. I spoke with Drew LaFosto two weeks ago. She'd been temporarily laid off from postmodern spirits but was still working at Kabuki downtown. Shortly after our interview, the restaurant closed. I need to be very, very careful about my spending. I already had a little bit saved up, mostly because I was going to get married in October. Peterson and LaFosto both filed for unemployment and applied for local help through the Knoxville Service Industry Coalition's GoFundMe. And it kind of went from having a full schedule to no work for anybody kind of overnight. Others, like Mark McCauley, a line cook at Chesapeake's, says he's picking up jobs in the meantime to support himself, receiving some benefits from his employer. Everybody's impacted by it. Even if you're going to work full time still, I'm sure something has changed for you. Now we talk about the waiting game, but those three that I spoke to said they've been blown away by the amount of public support. Even Downtown Grill and Brewery is turning to online resources. If the public wants to tip, you can tip a waitress just like Cassandra to help out during these times. They said, really, if you're looking for ways to give back, buying a gift card now or just ordering takeout from restaurants that are still open is a small way to help support the local service industry. Lori. Thank you, Madison. Yeah, it's the least we can do. We depend on them so much. And we're on your side, everyone, with resources that you can turn to if you're a member of the service industry. Or if you're looking to help, just head to our website. We have an entire section dedicated to tracking coronavirus. Go to WATE.com slash coronavirus.